Hey guys, welcome uh, back to the Armin Malin YouTube channel uh, where we kind of discuss everything uh, fitness related and athletics related um, and also just inspirational things. But in this case, we're going to be talking about um, Big Ramy. And of course, uh, Big Ramy is the Egyptian who uh, won the Mr. Olympia competition, which uh, a lot of people were waiting for him to do. And the question uh, that everyone's kind of asking themselves, is this a one time out type of thing? Is this a fluke? Is this a one hit wonder? Um, or is Big Ramy here to stay? So he's never been really where, uh, where he's at now. He's placed the last time he uh, competed, he placed sixth, which is, you know, a big drop from first. Um, so we're going to talk about what the difference was and kind of how he got here. And also, um, whether, you know, whether he's going to be uh, competing at this high level in the future. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys. So we're going to take these pictures from um, rxmuscle.com. Take some great, great shots of these athletes. And I love, um, I love analyzing them using their pictures. So so here we go. We'll look at 2018 um, in comparison to Big Ramy um, when he won. So 2018, he got six, sixth place. So right off the bat, I mean, he's huge, right? They don't call him Big Ramy for nothing. He's huge. Look at the legs compared. Like, I mean, well, he's wide everywhere, but these legs are enormous. But again, so is that waist, right? Like that waist is enormous too. He's just a huge man, just just big everywhere. But not, you know, if you look at him, not really that defined in the legs though. The arms not really defined. Abs look good. Chest is big, but not striated. Um, you know, really, really the, his long-term problem was conditioning. He just couldn't bring himself to be in good condition. I mean, he's, he's the type of guy that, that obviously puts on a lot of muscle very quickly and very easily. Um, but his struggle is just bringing in that toned, um, toned look. So here we go. Here's some arms, arm shots, more leg shots. So again, good sixth place, good, but not first place good right and so and Ramy bounced around a lot of coaches uh so it was hard to you know really um ever think that he was going to make it to the to this level so here right off the bat much more much more conditioned so this is the 2020 where he won his face looks sunk, sunken in so you know he's suffering so here we go Waist is still not significantly smaller, but you know, when you're at that size, your waist is going to be bigger. There's not, there's not much you can do. Um, so arms really conditioned, vascular. I mean, really good shape, good structure. Legs are huge as always, but down some, down some to the point where, where he's bringing in good leg conditioning too. Just overall great conditioning. Great conditioning. Look at those biceps. Huge arms. I mean, everyone always talks about Remy's legs, right? Like his legs are enormous. They really, your your eyes immediately go to, um, you know, go to his legs because of just how huge they are. But look at his arms. His arms are, are enormous. It's a good structure, good look. <laughs> That's an odd, odd picture to take of him but uh but yeah he's in motion there so so good look um so let's go to 2018 uh, back again full pecs and see like in these pictures he doesn't look that bad right like he doesn't look bad but again remember guys it's um it's all a matter of who's there who comes in and what condition and i mean while there were some dominant players here you got to understand uh, Phil in 2020, Phil is not who he, you know, who he was in 2018. So Ramy had his work cut out. Now that's a great shot from 2018. That's a great shot, but every shot that he had was not like this. So that's just something that we, you know, we have to kind of 
understand. Um, so in this in this uh, Olympia, you know, Phil is done basically. Brandon is good, but not outsized. Outsized. I wouldn't say Brandon was uh, um, out conditioned. He was outsized by Rami, but because Rami brought the right conditioning, that was it. Like as long as his conditioning is as good as the as number two, he will always be number one. As long as he's he's um, he's keeping this conditioning up, he'll always be number one. And uh, so here we go, some more shots. I mean, just strided leg looks like looks like a just a piece of meat hanging off his his hamstring right there. And uh, the, uh, Dave Palumbo got a lot of uh, crap for saying that he was sitting down too much, and you know. It's, people really blow things out of proportion. I mean, he all he was saying was he doesn't need to sit down as much because his leg is already that big. So I mean, that's not that's that's kind of paying the man a compliment, but people kind of blew it out of proportion. we were saying that, you know, that that was not a that was not a nice thing to say. But I mean, the man was was just saying that he doesn't even have to pose as hard as somebody else because he's already so genetically freaky. So, and here we go. So the next, so we'll go on to 20, back to 2018. All right, there we go. So again, huge. Oh, that might, I mean, that might be it. Let me take a look here. So there we go, side. And you see here, no stomach distension, right? wide wide width of the of the waist but no distension yeah no distension right at least he knows how to suck it in if there is a there is one huge back really you know and honestly his back is not like extremely dominant uh you know detail wise but just enormous i mean hard to compete with this right the only person that could that could compete with this on the open stage would um if he if Ramon brings this kind of conditioning uh would be Roly if Roly brings that this kind of conditioning Roly's in the same situation um if he you know brings this kind of conditioning Roly will be up there he'll be uh easily top 3 what usually separates the, these big big monsters is whether they can be as as conditioned i mean look at this look at this shot that is an incredible shot. Look at these shoulders and everything coming in. Wonderful shot. I mean, look at the legs. Just hunks of meat just hanging off his legs. Incredible. So here we go. A little funny pose there. I mean, still just, just in awe of his size. That's this is a great shot too, right here. The hand on the hip. I mean, look at the look at the back, the lats. You can so so sometimes you can see some people's lats from the you know from the front like that if they have a big back. I mean, this is insane. His lats are coming down really to the mid of his bicep right here, maybe even past it a little. That is incredible. I mean, you want to talk about massive size. And this is, you know, some people think that this is going to cause uh, a shift into what kind of Mr. Olympias are being, being um, 
awarded that first place because, uh, or what kind of competitors would be awarded that first place, I should say, because honestly, you know, really since Coleman, you really didn't have huge mass monsters um, winning the Olympia. It was more detailed guys, you know, Phil won it for seven, for seven uh, times. Jay was, you know, decently huge, but it, it, he wasn't, he wasn't big Rami. And he really wasn't even, wasn't Coleman either. That's why Jay had to basically wait until Coleman was, was done for himself from, from his own just age and training and so forth before he beat him. Look at this hands on hip. Incredible. Everything is popping striations. Yeah. yeah, this, this is a, this, if he brings in this conditioning, this is a unbeatable physique. So, I mean, the title of this video is will Rami repeat? And of course we never know. Um, historically Rami, you know, hasn't come conditioned. This is the first time. So he might have to do it again before we really give him the kind of credit that we think, you know, when we think that he's going to do it all the time, but Definitely, if he does bring this conditioning, no one's beating him. Not for a long time. So, all right, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, this was the analysis of Rami, whether he can win again, and he definitely can. So uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. I'm going to keep making videos like this. Um, tell me what kind of videos you want, uh, who you want to see, who you want to get analyzed. Um, and just any kind of topics that you want me to consider. I appreciate it. Thank you.